guys, what's up? I'm coming to you with X-Wing Wave 7, the Hound's Tooth Expansion Pack. We're going to do an unboxing here. Cut open the plastic and take a look at this awesome thing. Wave 7 is finally here. It came out early at Gen Con if you were there. And if you're not, then you had to wait like me and everybody else. So now we finally got it. And our battles are going to get that much more interesting. So, got our, got our plastic. Oh, and here's the back of the box, in case you wanted to see that. I don't think anybody really cares about the back of the box at this point. Okay. Now, the first thing about this is, I don't know if the video is going to do it justice, but this thing is huge. It's really, really big. Like, I have big hands, too. You got a lot of detail in there. It's just real nice. All right, so we've got our rules. Uh, this ship has a auxiliary firing arc, but it is unique in that it gives you a, essentially a full 180 firing. It still has the typical 90 degree firing arc there, but this extra 45 and 45 over here are the auxiliary arcs. So similar to the, uh, to the Slave 1 expansion, it can also fire its primary weapon out of the auxiliary arcs. Alright, first off, let's look at the dial. Now this comes with two dials because this expansion comes with the Nashta Pup, which is a Z95 headhunter, so it gives you an extra dial for that, and the uh, Nashta Pup cardboard insert, which is the same on both sides. I figure, why not, right? Be less confusing that way. Okay, and we've also got our, here's our bases, and as you can see, the full 180 firing. All right, so here are now the uh, not, this is the Nashta Pups dial. It's just a standard Z95 dial, and here is the YV666 or the Hound's Tooth dial. As you can see, there is no K turn. This is the second ship to have the red zero maneuver, so this guy can stay put. So that's uh, pretty interesting. He looks a lot more mobile though. You know, he's got he doesn't have the hard one, but he's got hard twos that are red and hard threes. Uh, he's well, maybe he's not that mobile, but, uh, you know, full, better, better firing arc means he doesn't have to be as mobile. So here's the Nashta Pup pilot. It says Nashta Pup pilot um, because you need the Hound's Tooth upgrade and actually to be able to actually equip this. Uh, you can't have, if you have like three of these expansion, you can't have a Nashta Pup with uh, all three of them. You have to pick one. Um, but it, you basically you get the same pilot skill as the pilot that you're going to get. So you can have Bosk, who is the uh, bounty hunter from Empire Strikes Back. Everybody knows Bosk. Uh, when you perform an attack that hits, before dealing damage, you may cancel one of your crits to add two regular hits. So great for taking down shields. This is one of the most awesome pilots ever. I love him. Uh, you know, and then you've got three, three attack, one defense, and then six hull and six shields. You've got three crew slots on this ship, so you can essentially make this thing very, very expensive. Um, now the uh, Moralo eval, you can perform cannon secondary weapon attacks against ships inside your auxiliary firing arc. So he can actually shoot the you know, heavy laser cannon at a full 180 degrees, which is very cool. Uh, Let's Razzi, when a friendly ship declares an attack, you may spend a target lock you have on the defender to reduce its agility by one for that attack. So, uh, you know, he's a support version. Very cool. And then your generic transition slaver, 29 points. You can fit three of these in a build. It's a nice way to, uh, I see it's pretty cheap for a, that, that much hull and, and three arc. Not bad. Might have to throw that in. It's just a, it's just a tank to suck up damage and spit out you know. All right, and then we have get our resource cards for boost and ion token. Now there's supposed to be something about docking. I thought there would have been a card to talk about docking and um, deploying. Oh, I guess you can't dock. We'll have to read over that some more. But uh, yeah, so this guy he can't redock because he only deploys once the Nashta pup. Is, or I'm sorry, the Nashta pup only deploys once the Hound's tooth is destroyed. But you uh, looks like you're using a one, yeah. You're using the one, uh, the one bank maneuver to deploy out the 
back end. So there, I'll zoom in a little closer so you can see an example of deployment. And if you want to read over the rules real quick, you can pause it now. Okay, so next we've got our upgrade cards. And we've got Lone Wolf, we've seen that one before. We've got Crack Shot, this is one of the new ones, another EPT. When attacking a ship inside your firing arc, you may discard this card to cancel one of the defender's evade results. Not a bad thing, you get to choose when you're going to use it, so that's cool. And it only costs one. Well, stay on target, we have seen that before, it's nice to have it in another place. Heavy Laser Cannon, you know, this is a great ship for it, and it's nice to have Heavy Laser Cannons in another place. The Bosk Crew. This one's new to this expansion. After you perform an attack that does not hit, if you are not stressed, you must receive a stress token. Then assign a focus token to your ship and acquire a target lock on the defender. So he's, you know, he's scum only, but he would be really awesome on a uh, huge ship if we ever get those. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, so that's interesting. K4 security droid, scum only. Uh, we've seen him before. Outlaw Tech, Scum Only, we've seen them before. Lots of crew, being that we have three. Glitter Stim, this is new to Wave 7, but I don't believe, I believe it's on the, uh, the other Scum ship as well. At the start of the combat phase, you may discard this card and receive a stress token. If you do, until the end of the round, when attacking or defending, you may change all of your eyeballs to hits or evades. So basically this is a one-shot deal, just like a lot of the illicits, and lets you have perma-focus for the rest of the turn. Um, it's really cool. <laughs> now, if you wanted to do a weird reading of this, I wonder if you could, while defending, change your eyeballs to hits. <laughs> I hope that doesn't have to be FAQ'd, because that's obvious. Engine upgrade. This is actually a big deal, uh, because this was only available in the Millennium Falcon before this. So if you uh, were hit by the shortage of Millennium Falcons, or if you just don't want to buy more than one, here's an excellent way to get an extra engine upgrade. Um, I believe two of them come with the Falcon. All right, Ion Projector, here's a modification. It's large ship only. After an enemy ship executes a maneuver that causes it to overlap your ship, roll an attack die. On a hit or crit, the enemy ship receives one Ion token. So if somebody bumps you, they get ionized. Uh, you could at you could actually trap somebody this way, which is you know, wow. Yeah, you, and it comes with two of those. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, maneuvering fins, and this is a modification for the YV six 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 only. When you reveal a turn maneuver, you may rotate your dial to the corresponding bank maneuver of the same speed. So that's uh, you know kind of letting you have a little more flexibility. Uh, I suppose that's all right. It's good, better for higher pilot skill guys. Um, all right, and now Houndstooth title. This is a six-point title, so this is actually pretty expensive. I don't think we've seen any uh, titles this expensive before. After you are destroyed, before you are removed from the play area, you may deploy the Nash to Pup pilot. It cannot attack this round. And so that's you know the rules that we showed you before, and then the Nash to Pup pilot will get whatever your pilot skill ability is for your pilot with the houndstooth upgrade. So this is our first example of deploying something. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how the deploying works with, uh, we have a future ship coming out that's also going to deploy the Gazanti. Uh, so that's going to come with two ties, but I guess you're going to be able to redock with that one. Now we're going to take a look at this next to some of the other ships, but wait, wait a second. Now, what I'm curious is that this is so large does this come with... No, it has just a regular. I think it's the ghost that's coming out that's going to eventually have the larger um, pegs. All right, so here you can see the Hound's Tooth next to the Imperial Raider and the GR-75 and the CR-90. The Hound's Tooth is not as big as the Raider, but it's about half the size. It's very comparable to the... The GR-75, it's, I mean, not as big, but kind of close. It's, it's really big. And here for, we have a, a TIE Advanced for scale as well. All right, so this has been the Hound's Tooth Unboxing. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.